So welcome to another one of our Inspired Women and I'm with the fabulous, gorgeous Sarah Dukas from Storm. How are you? I'm good, Scott. You are in 1987, you're in London um, and the whole idea around being a model agent mm. sort of came to you, I guess. I literally knew that it was the right decision. I, there was, I was unequivocal about it, you know, I didn't for one moment have doubt, which is great, I probably mm. would now. Mm. So I charged around, you know, and all the while I was trying to run, start this business stuff, I was looking for models. You know, so I had a great time going to see all these people and trying to persuade them to give me money. Work with me. And then, you know, Richard Branson was amazing because I'd known him since I was 16. I shared a room with Lindy, his elder sister, and so, we, you know, we've been friends for a long time. And he always said, you know, I want to do virgin models. And I'd be like, oh, never. <laughs> and we struck a deal. He just, you know, I gave him a heads of agreement. He went, yes to that, no to that, yes, yes, done. And then I started the company. There's, there's obviously a cool thirty years has a gone cool by. Thirty years, but there's obviously something incredibly effective in place that's working to, you know, have Storm to be the powerhouse that it is, to have the reputation that it has, and to you be at the helm of it. Yeah, I mean, I never feel that any day is done, and you know, I just never think, oh God, it's been a success. Every day I close the door, I think we've got more to do tomorrow. And I'm mad about my staff and keeping my staff and um, making this a really fantastic atmosphere so they stay because because that's a very competitive side and you know it's very you, you can lose staff very easily in our world because there are very few agents around. I'm addicted to to the adrenaline of Storm and it's so exciting to come to work every day, which is kind of sick and mad. But you know I really love it in here. I just feel I'm kind of in my element and yes I've got my farm in the country and I completely love it and I've got my animals and. You know, and I, is that your sort of sanity check? Yeah. Or insanity oh, check? Oh, definitely. Or? I mean, the you know, I go down there and whatever it is, whatever check it is, I just, you know, get into my wellies and um, I go and clean out my chickens and feed my horses in the winter and donkeys. How do you define yourself? Is it is it by work? Is it by, you know, what you've achieved at Storm? Is it as a woman? Is it as a mother? You know, life's just so frantic for me. You know, I sort of wake up, rush here, then go to the farm. I don't think too much, but I, yeah. I worry about being a good mother. But then, you know, I've got three grown-up kids, so the die is cast, so to speak. <laughs> you know, that's a tough one. That job's Doing done. this and being a mother is really not an easy thing to do because there's always this, first of all, you know, it's not like any normal job. You've got to pick up the phone all of the time. You can't say, I'm not picking up the phone. It's a tough one, but yeah. I mean, so far, nobody's murdered anybody and nobody's a heroin addict, so... <laughs> like what keeps Sarah Dukas totally switched on, aware of what the market needs, I guess, as well? You know, nothing lasts forever and you constantly got to refresh mm -hmm. and find new, interesting people, mm -hmm. and especially now, the world that we're in, mm -hmm. this whole mm -hmm. new digital mm -hmm. world mm -hmm. and, you know, clients don't just want the pretty face or the interesting face. They need people that have social media mm -hmm. presence online you know they want more mm -hmm. what would you say has been your kind of your motto your your life motto go for it don't let anybody tell you not to do it loads of people told me not to start stool really oh my god they were so negative my friends you're crazy it's, it's going to be a disaster my family it's going to be a disaster and here you are now got to do what you want to do. Don't ever let anybody put you up. It's very English, that. What would you like to sort of see happen in the next sort of 10 years, for example? Well, I would just love this business to have pushed forward. And actually, I've got some really interesting meetings set up on the other side of the pond with great things. Well, Sarah, thank you so much. You are a huge inspiration. <laughs> um, you know, the way that you have built the business and, and your can-do attitude to life. And I guess that kind of, you know, go for it kind of attitude. You've succeeded and you've done so well. So well, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you.